is Brian. It is uh, August 26, approximately 6 a.m. Monument Square, Portland. And uh, I'm sitting here with... Grizzly Bear. Joseph Fish. Joseph Fish? Yeah. Joey the Fish. How about that? Yeah. Joey the Fish. That yeah. sounds good. <laughs> All right. Uh, how old are you? Um, 53. 53 years old? Yeah. And how long have you been unhoused? Uh, I've been off and on homeless for a good 20 years. Last 20 years, huh? Yep. All right. Uh, how long in this stint have you been living outdoors? For this stint, uh, I've been out here a good three years straight. Three years straight? Yeah. Out here. Is that three winters, too? Three winters, yep. How the fuck do you like winters? Winters. They suck. You know, Pretty goddamn brutal. It gets very cold, just on that. So how do you how do you deal with uh, that type of weather? We have, well, we did have before they took the tents down in Portland. They put a ban, a city ban on tents. Uh, we had a tent. And we had There's a, a city ban on tents. Yeah, you can't put you can't pop a tent anywhere. When did in that Portland. happen? That happened last year. Um, during. Like uh, the spring, winter, uh, the spring, summer of last year, um, they, they just said no more. And if they had uh, tent patrol people that come around and they'd try to take it down, cops would get involved and you either you'd get arrested and lose all your shit, or fucking you would um, have to pack everything up and go somewhere. But there's no tents. That's why we don't see any tents anymore, no. huh? So all right, that, that's that's awful. What do you, I mean, if you get to some tent in Portland, you got to go up in the woods somewhere uh, on the outskirts. All right, let me get back on track yeah. here. So uh, track. you've been out three three winters in a row. Yeah. We got winter coming. Yeah. You're not allowed to have a tent, so that looks like a pretty no. shitty prospect. Right, right. So, um, so see the Riverside shelter, which sucks. The Riverside shelter. Yeah. And I'm not. I refuse to go there. Yeah. Why? Um, it's just a lot of grimy shit going on out there. The people steal your shit. You, you can't trust anyone. It's just a it, it, it's a shit show all day long. And I'm not getting involved in none of that shit. Plus, you wade the fuck out in nowhere. You know. You have uh, at least in town. You have options. So when you say options in town, what, what do you mean by that? That means you just pack all your shit in the car and you sit. Somewhere where you can you can spange and make some money in order to get to where you need to be. Spange? Yeah. What's that? Spare change. Spare plus change equals spange. And how do you do that? You just walk up to people and you say, how you doing? You know, I'm homeless. And they usually get the idea. If you... So it's a, little, it's a little bit like panhandling. It's panhandling, but, but you're not aggressive. Not aggressive. Right. Okay. They, they can arrest you for that, too. I actually know what it is. <laughs> but just for the viewers here, for the boss that's going to look at this, I'm sure they don't yeah. know what that terminology right, is. Right, right. Um, so, yeah, out there, I know, I've been out there. You don't have any resources at your no. disposal up no. there. No, no. And uh, I've heard, yeah, you, you're repeating the same thing I've heard from a lot of people as far as... Uh, it's basically like a, it's like a jail. Yeah, you know, okay. without being locked up. Are you currently working with a caseworker or a, a housing navigator no, of any sort? No, I'm not. No. Like right now, I'm kind of like a lull. Uh, my wife is, uh, she's currently getting housing for her. And then once she gets settled, I know she's okay. Then I'll start working on my piece. I, I can go to Milestone and I can use, his name's Kirk Carson. And he's a uh, housing... <coughs> coordinator with uh, Milestone and as you're in Milestone for a while you have to prove that you're that you're like, terminally homeless mm -hmm. I guess they call it chronically chronic chronic homeless and then that takes like three weeks being in Milestone which they will take care of you they, yeah they give you a place to sleep inside and a meal and maybe clothes but um, it takes like three weeks to get on the on the list, and they usually like push through really quickly, like rapid rehousing for uh, individuals that 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 want 
to move on and, and get housing. Yep. Uh, what usually happens is they, they, they get you brap and then you get a place like right off the rip. Brap? Yeah. It, it, it's a quick um, voucher and, and you get an apartment and you sat there. Um, and so a milestone is what a, that's a, a sober shelter? No, it's a wet shelter. It's a wet shelter. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But they'll help you regardless of your sobriety status? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, they can help you with uh, getting your ID, getting your birth certificate, and then starting the process of getting housing. So, what's the, why do you prefer uh, Milestone over Riverside? Like I said, Riverside is a shit show. 180 beds, and there's, I mean, all kinds of people out there that I just would rather not even look at. Okay. And these are people that you're laying next to. You can't trust anybody, and I, I, I can't be like that. You know, and milestones. I mean, I mean, I mean. Say, fuck it. Get the word trust right out of there. It's not about trust because you can't trust nobody anyway. Yeah. So what it boils down to is, you, you just gotta know your situation and what feels comfortable for you. Okay. And me, and me bouncing around in, into hidey holes is what I feel comfortable with. Yeah. And staying away from the cops. No. Oh, I hear you. So, when you do, you do encampments, or do you guys fly solo, stealth? There, there are a few encampments. They're kind of hidden, like uh, off the main drag. And obviously, they're getting away with it. You know, you gotta be really smart about it. You can't just like set up a tent, right. throw some shit in it. They have needles everywhere. Yeah, yeah, you know? I hear that. And, and a big mess. Shit. But I meant specifically for you, as far as your preferences, do you prefer doing, you know, running solo, or do you like being uh, in yeah, encampments? I'm, I'm solo. You're a solo yeah. camper. Yeah. All right. But I, I've, I've done the encampments. I've done every one. When they had Frederick Street, I did that. Uh, the only one I didn't do was parking right down there, and that was a... Phew. So while you've been out here on the streets, so your, your, your experience out here... Um, What's it like with contact with uh, general citizens and, and law enforcement? Well, I, I would say that... Don't use any names if you have no, a story. No, I'm not saying no names at all. I, I, yeah. but, um, I would say as long as they don't fuck with us, we won't fuck with you. you know? so yep. I, I just keep it on the down low and you know, I, I just take things as it comes. What about uh, exposure to violence or, I mean, it sounds like you've been, you've had some robberies and some theft, but what about like regular straight up physical fisticuffs? Yeah, no, not really. You don't, you've had no zero, good. No. Well, no, that's, that's, yeah. that's, that's awesome. I don't, I don't make things an issue. You know, I, you know, I'm pretty cordial when it comes to police officers and they say, yeah, get going, da, da, da. They don't make an issue with me, and I'm, uh, I'll make an issue with them. I'll say, yes, sir, pack it up, and go somewhere else. Uh, what sort of uh, current resources do you have? Like, do you have a phone? Do you? No. How do you contact people? I, I, I use other people's phones. Use other people's phones? Yeah. Okay. And okay. usually I'm with my wife, but my, well, my wife's taking care of herself right now, which I'm very proud of her. Yeah. Uh, I use her phone. But, okay. Um, uh, I had two cell phones the other day, but I uh, traded them for money. Um, I don't really care about cell phones. Okay. So as far as substance use goes, is there any particular thing that you're using or are you not using? Alcohol and marijuana. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's about it. Maybe what? occasional, like, uh, you know, like, pills that help me out as far as, like, pain and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I might play around with those a little bit, but it's not really my thing. I gotcha. It's just alcohol. What would you say is uh, are some obstacles maybe that are that are holding you back from getting into an apartment? Um, I, I think it's just my goddamn pride. You know, like uh, push myself, and I think I can just tough it out until something becomes available to me. Like eventually, I will probably get a caseworker. And start working with that caseworker, and uh, if I get like a real go-getter, then uh, I could probably get myself into a, a situation eventually. When was the last time you were that you, you had your own place? Quite a while ago. Yeah, I had an apartment with my wife, and I was looking like 
five years ago. Yeah. So since then, I just feel like bouncing. What was the uh, reason for the for? I mean, what was the reason that you you don't have housing? Was it an eviction, a breakup? No, no. Uh, it's a long story, so I'm not gonna again. Get okay. It, but I, I I couldn't stay in that. You couldn't stay, and you had to go. Yeah. Uh, fair enough. Yeah. Um, do you see yourself in an apartment eventually? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't keep doing this. Like another main winner out here is not gonna be an option. I, I have to get something. Yeah, that that was that was the crisis point I had last November. I really yeah. I was staring at going into the third winter, mm-hmm. and I was in the situation. I was down in Old Orchard, so oh, they had uh, they they'd slashed my tent and yeah. pepper sprayed my uh, my right. my sleeping bag and made my my situation untenable. Yeah, and uh, yeah. I didn't have any any way to to replace those things. So yeah, yeah. Um, I knew that if I stayed out, it was going to be a death sentence. So it was getting cold. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. it was November. The end yeah. of November it was getting fucking cold, brother. And all the all the ocean in the wintertime sucks. No, yeah, I mean that there's it's, it, there's nothing going on down there. So I I I'd painted myself right into a fucking corner. corner yeah, it's a ghost town. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So yeah, I guess that's about the end of it. Is um. I guess the last thing I like to like to ask everybody is: uh, is, is there any anything you want to uh, let the people that run these shelters and these programs or get people in the house? I mean, is there anything you want to you want to just say specifically? Well, with all due respect, I mean, the shelters, you know, they, they play their role; they do their job, um, and, and, and that, that kind of situation works for a lot of people that don't really have the faculties like mentally to be out here like like I do. You know, I, I find it it's like survival mode, you know, and you do the best you can with what you got. And obviously I do pretty good at it, you know. Um like I said, I, I had no problems with the shelter system, you know. I'm glad it's in place for certain people that that, that, that really need it, you know, and they do their best to feed them and give them housing and uh, help them out with like options for housing and shit like that. So those people just need some help, you know. And I, on the other hand, I, I like to just be left alone. Oh, you know, the, the other thing I needed to ask you too, um, when it comes to like uh, local resources for like health care, the clinic, mm-hmm. food, mm-hmm. You know, are, are there any of these any of the local resources that you're tapping into? Because I know there's a clinic down here on Preble Street. Yes. I know you got the Great Preble quality. Street uh, Learning Collab down yeah. there, Spur Wink Room. Yep. Do you use any of those? No. No. I will if I have to. Where do you shower? Where do you? I mean, I went months I, without showering. So. I, yeah, I go. I go a little while without showering, and. Um, <laughs> I'm allowed back in Milestone where I shelter. I, I can shower there. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. What I, about uh, medical stuff? Medical stuff, I'd probably go to Great Important Health. Um, okay. So if we see, if so if anybody sees this guy out, he's not aggressive, he's looking for a little bit of spare change and, and obviously a way to get indoors before winter hits. Joey the fish? Yes. Enjoy the fish. Pleasure talking with you. Thank you. Oh, wait, before we go any further, can you hold this for a second? Yes, I will. Let me assure they see it. I see it. See the pads. Hey, Ruski. <laughs> and, and Hightower. Yeah. Ruski and Hightower. Right, here you go. Thank you, sir. Let me see. All right, you got it? Andrew Jackson. Thank you, sir. All right, you got paid. This is going to help.